what's going on everybody and welcome to your 11th HTML and CSS tutorial now in this tutorial let's learn about what are ordered and unordered list so for example let's say uh, you are creating a website on your web development skills and uh, you want to say that I am expert in the following fields and you would like to have one uh, my uh, my SQL <laughs> you can say then second HTML then CSS jQuery and all that stuff and suppose you ever try to like you want to remove this HTML from your skills or my SQL from your skills so what you'll do is you'll just remove this line but the problem is now that this number starts from 2 and it is very pain to manage the numbering of your skills so what we have in HTML are unordered and ordered list and using those we can completely avoid writing these numbers or bullets uh, manually but HTML would automatically do that for us so let's see let's start with ordered list now ordered list kind of create a sequence in numbers or Roman numbers or any other numerical value you supply for example let's take the simplest example type the tag ol this is ol element would create a ordered list and it is closing element hmm, and I guess I haven't explained you uh, a container and empty tags yet so uh, that should be the next tutorial but anyways now uh, open a li and type your expertise in which you are in so let's say I'm typing HTML and let's say I type CSS and PHP as well why not JavaScript and why the heck not jQuery so these are some of my skills in some of my skills which I'm, I am expert so here's our browser and let's reload this and as you can see we get I'm expert in the following fields and we got the numbers automatically assigned to every of our li list though we haven't typed any number down here in the list but browser automatically adds one two three four five accordingly so for example if I remove this PHP right here and save it and reload this page then we don't have three as nothing but three is automatically replaced with JavaScript so this is a kind of reliable way of writing ordered list and remember that OL stands for ordered list so now uh, you are happy with these numbers but what if you say that I don't want numbers I would like to have let's say alphabets instead of 1 2 3 4 I would like to have A B C D right here so for that we have a fix as well now OL has a special attribute called start now start what it would do is or not start basically OL type I'll explain start later now type what would type do is it would accept a kind of a starting alphabet or starting numeral which you want the ol to be so for example if I enter ol type a and save it and reload this page and now you can see instead of numbers just regular one two three four five we are getting a b c d e and that could be pretty much helpful if you're creating your own custom site and want some custom results or basically if you're quizzing creating a quiz like show and want to have ABCD as options automatically then you can do OL type A and then your four options and they would automatically grab ABCD so the next thing we have for type is the capital I now if you have ever uh, read about Roman numerals then in Roman numerals 1 is a capital I 2 is 2 capital I's 3 is 3 capital I's 4 
is a capital I and a V and so on. So let's see what happens and as a result we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the way down. Uh, it's your wish how many lists you want to create the elements, the Li elements. So no matter how many you create your HTML would automatically convert all these elements and append a Roman numeral before them. So now we could also use like a small i to denote a small uh, alphabet for Roman numerals and you'll get this result. And similarly we could do that with ABCD as well with a small a and as you can see and by default type is 1. If you don't specify type then th this would be same as ol type 1 which results in 1 2 3 4 5 now the next attribute we have for ol is stat now what does stat do it would accept a value and would start your list from that particular value for example i gave ol type 1 start 5 now what would happen is if i reload this then as you can see instead of starting HTML with 1 it starts with 5 now we have 5 6 7 8 9 instead of 1 2 3 4 5 similarly if I give OL type I and start 2 now let's reload this and as you can see we have uh, the starting Roman numeral as 2 3 4 5 6 and all the way that all the way down that and one thing you have to remember is that no matter what your type value is let it be a or a Roman numerals or number for instance I have chosen uh, Roman numerals right now your start the attribute the value of start attribute would always be a number and which would specify basically from what value should this start and that means when you choose like say 50 down here then this type would go to 50 and 50th Roman numeral would be appended before HTML and would carry on to all the elements down there so let's reload this and as you can see uh, we get L because 50 in Roman numerals is L and then Li, Lii and so on so this was about uh, OL and now let's take a look at UL now UL is pretty much like OL but instead of basically creating an ordered list it creates an unordered and randomized list so let's see what it is Whoa, what I'm typing so we have creating a UL uh, tag an opening and a closing tag and the same Li elements so now you know that Li basically depends on the parent element so if uh, the parent is ol then whatever we write in li would grab the ordered value but when we write like uh, let's say you are creating your grocery list and let's say you want a noodles pack uh, you want some vegetables and you would like to have an apple so now uh, you don't uh, care about in which order they are or you don't want any numbers assigned to them so when you reload this then instead of getting let's change it to something meaningful um, let's remove the start now instead of getting something meaningful like one two three four five we get these dark uh, black circles around our li tag so that's how ul differs from ol and ul has also a type attribute and instead of uh, accepting a single uh, character ul type accepts a word and those words are let's say square if you type ul type square then these black uh, circles would be converted into squares now reload this and if i zoom in a little bit then you'll see the difference previously these were circles if i remove this if i remove this and reload this then by default they are black circles but if i add ul type square to them and reload this then these are converted into squares similarly we have uh, 
circle as well and I'll explain what it is and let's reload this and now instead of getting dark black filled circles we are getting white and transparent circles with UL type circle so what is the default fallback for the black circles that is disk now basically circle means only a closed figure but with not filled with any color and disk literally means that a circle inside black color so when we use UL type disk then we get the black circles so this is the main difference between UL and LI, uh, UL and OL and LI are used to list uh, elements and to be more precise LI stands for list items so you now know that the OL is ordered list LI is list item UL is another list and you that you know the two attributes of OL which are type and start and one attribute of UL which is type we don't have any start attribute because it doesn't simply make any sense because we are not organizing the elements in any uh, numerical way so that's all for this tutorial and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe